and this one just got a lot tougher. <laughs> when the landfill expands, what effects will that have on the quality of life in Portland with increased traffic and smells? And what can you do with the million dollars received from waste management? Well, Kerlin really doesn't have anything to say about that landfill. The county never included us. Our representative on the county board never even mentioned it to us. It was pretty much a done deal. The, our mayor went to waste management and negotiated a million dollars. We haven't seen that million dollars and I don't want any part of spending something that we don't have. Uh, it's going to be an issue, but I assure you, we have no control over it and no power over it. As far as the traffic, from what I understand, any truck that comes to the landfill will be brought down I-88. Uh, it will come down Peace Road, across 38, and then down Sanmat. Uh, there should be no additional traffic on any side streets, that's my understanding. Uh, as far as the smell, from what I understand, a lot of the smell we have today uh, is from uh, substances that were put uh, in the landfill years and years ago. A lot of that being uh, nothing more than typical house drywall uh, is something that when burnt gives off a gas that a lot of times we smell, it smells a little like burnt human hair. Uh, some of the positives, if the, if the uh, expansion goes through, is uh, uh, waste management has apparently agreed to dig up all the things that were put in there, uh, so to say, not to today's code, uh, or at least not to the standards, uh, which should give us, if nothing else, a uh, sense of uh, knowing that at least it's a little better control. As far as a million dollars, the million dollars is not due us until what time the landfill is through, and uh, I believe they even have a portion of time after that in which to give us the million dollars. As Chuck said, I don't believe there's even been any mention of how and what we're going to do with it, uh, basically because uh, there's no sense in looking at something we may not possibly get. Thank you. Once again, my name is Brad Stone. Brad covered, Brad covered a number of the um, issues with the, the landfill. The traffic is going to be routed in a, a very specific um, direction. I don't believe it will be going through Cortland. They've already done some improvements on the smell. We don't have as bad a smell now as we did even two years ago. And um, I understand there's some sort of guarantee for property values within a certain distance, mile, mile and a half, where they are going to promise the current owners that if their property value goes down because of the um, expansion of the landfill, Waste management will make up for it. That's only the current owners. If they sell the property, then the, the next owner is already aware of the landfill be, being there. They've already improved the road surface that goes to the, land, sir, the landfill. So, in some ways, they've already improved our lives, and the traffic remains the, the biggest issue. But if they do route that in the direction they have said they would, and I believe they will make a, a big effort to make sure it goes there. We should be all right with the traffic. As far as spending the million dollars, it can be either spent on operational costs or on capital expenses. And that's a choice that has to be made in the future when we know what our situation is.